15 seconds look at this image and tell me whether you spot a mud skipper. Do you see that? He's still doing it. Oh my gosh! Hey there, welcome to today's video. I'm so excited to be here with you again. Now today we're going to travel to somewhere very interesting. But before that, let me explain to you what's the purpose of this video. If you think about it, Singapore is a small island which is filled with roads, buildings, factories, places where people live and shop. Whether you are a foreigner or a Singaporean, the most common question is what to do in Singapore. People run out of ideas because there's practically nowhere you can go other than spending money at the malls, right? Think about it, the only place that you can think of is Universal Studios, which means to spend money the zoo, you spend money night safari, you spend money shopping malls, you spend money movie theatres, you spend money, you practically spend money from the start all the way to the end of the day. Today, I'm bringing you to this place. It's the Sungai Buloh Wetland Reserve. Okay, first of all, good news. If you are coming with a motorcycle or a car, it's free parking in this car park, which is right at the entrance of Sungai Bolo Wetlands. I've also done a check online and it seems like not many people know about this place, not many people come and visit this place. Maybe it's because it's quite deep into the forested area, but it also means that you have a lot of peace and quietness when you come here. Once you move in from the car park, it gets a little confusing because there's a path that goes this way, and there's a path that goes this way, and there's a huge area behind which kind of like leads to nowhere. So what you want to look out for is actually the sign that says entry to the wetland center and the way to get there from the car park is actually to keep towards the left side and you'll see a huge sign that says entry to the wetland center okay so first a general outlook of what we're going to cover today the opening hours 7 to 7 daily where we are is actually here yeah we're here now if we move towards the left side then we have a mongrove boardwalk this is the one that i enjoy most and of course we've got the tidal ponds. For those of you who are not here for the nature, you can actually move along these paths and take a lot of Instagram pictures and photos, okay? These are photos that you're going to post online and people are going to ask you, where do you take them? Because they don't even know exist in Singapore. Alright, with that, it sounds like fun, let's go! Which bird species is the oldest recorded here? It's a common red shank, 20 years and 2 months old. Okay, there's one thing you need to do now. Pause the video here and search out what this bird looks like. Just think of the bird flying around this area or, you know, like coming in a huge flock. The second thing you need to do now is to click the subscribe button for our channel if you haven't and like this video and of course turn on the notification bell. Now the reason why is because first of all it's free, secondly it's really great fun and the third reason is because we want to continue bringing you great videos and fun videos where you can travel along with us. So with that, let's go on. Fifty meters in we have finally reached the wetland center. Okay, so I just got this pamphlet from the main entrance and opening it, it says that these are some of the things that have been seen here before. Saltwater, crocodiles, mudskippers, I think this is quite common. The Chikara has been hardly seen in Singapore but a lot in Brunei. More importantly, a map of the place and I think that's really useful because then you roughly know how much more you have to cover as you move along. We are here now and we're probably going to go for the mangrove boardwalk. That is the crayon tree. I call it the crayon tree actually because it looks like an uh, artificial crayon colored tree and uh, we used to have one in my primary school. We always call that the artificial tree. Okay, let me tell you something interesting. Now, you see all this flat land here where all the undergrowth is and then it comes here and then it goes up this way, right? So, in many Asian countries, they believe that you must never ever cross this kind of mold. You must never walk over it because they believe that if you walk over this mold, serious things will happen to you. You can see that the water is actually quite high now so you can tell that it's actually high tide because in the mangrove areas when it's low tide you will be able to see the ground all right and that's where you see the mud skippers so it is high tide now and therefore you won't be able to see much except for the water and everything being pushed up once you realize that there's high tide you want to look out for two very unique things that you don't really see swimming in the waters because most of the time it's low tide, right? The first thing you want to look out for are actually salt water alligators around this area. I heard that there are crocodiles too, so you want to look out for that. And it's quite a rare sight, but if you do catch them, then please do stay away, but it's quite interesting to actually see them around. The other one that you want to look out for is what we call the monitor lizards. Those are quite common, and in fact, they do walk along these boardwalks with us. And again, uh, they're very shy, they're very afraid, so if they see you, they try to run. Run. they try to bolt for safety so please don't go chase them but these are the two animals that you want to look out for especially when you see high tide like that so 
so beautiful, right? And then what happens? Something prominent appears. Look at that hanger there. Now, do you get why we need to keep our place clean and you know not throw our things any way we want to? It's more than just harming nature, it's like making it so ugly. 15 seconds to look at this image and tell me whether you spot a mud skipper. It is here. Dun, 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 dun. That is one of the biggest mud skipper I've seen in my life. Chilling! I realized after looking at it for like a minute or two that there are actually two crabs. Can you find the two crabs? Yeah, there are two crabs above. Look at that. They're hanging on the tree. Mike the mud skipper. Wait, wait, wait. I just decided to take like a selfie and I realized that there's a worm on me. Oh my gosh, there's a worm on me. Why been how? Leaf. Ugh. Squiggly worm. Quite interesting to see the little fishes around. They're like so calm. They're just relaxing, enjoying themselves. And it's very interesting how you see these fishes just swimming alone, right? They don't come as a school of fishes. One of the most rewarding sights when you come to this mangrove boardwalk is the sight of Malaysia. When you walk to a certain point, you can actually see Malaysia right across the sea and it's really beautiful. I'm so tempted to just come over here and then see- Oh my gosh, what? Did you just see that? I saw something. Oh my gosh, what is that? Two times, oh look! That fish is spitting water out to knock down the insect and then eat the insect. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Do you see that? He's still doing it. Oh, oh my gosh! This is so cool! Oh my gosh, this is like the coolest fish I've seen already! I mean, I've read of these fishes, you know, but I haven't seen it in action before. Okay, look, 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 it's spinning. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, what kind of plant is this? What kind of tree? So cool! Look at that! The huge porcupine. I spent about an hour and a half in this area, just one loop. It's really beautiful, many things to see. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for traveling with me. Stay cool, stay awesome, and be aware as always. Bye!